Team coverage of the president's visit to Scranton tonight. President Biden, alongside officials like Governor Josh Shapiro and Scranton Mayor Paige Cognetti, welcomed him back to his hometown. Fox 56's Alicia Hercules was there and breaks down President Biden's talking points in his speech. Aaron and Ann, just a few hours ago, President Biden wrapped up his speech here in his hometown of Scranton, tackling tax concerns. President Biden spoke to a vibrant crowd in Scranton, further elaborating on his plan to tax the rich and lower taxes for working class families. He also vowed to have a 25 percent minimum federal income tax for billionaires. The president's speech made it clear that he is focusing on the working class families in America, while former President Trump also campaigns while actively battling court cases in New York City. Folks, trickle down economics failed the middle class. It failed America. And the truth is, Donald Trump embodies that failure. He wants to double down on trickle down. His failure starts with his $2 trillion tax cut that overwhelmingly benefited the wealthiest and biggest corporations and exploded the federal debt when he was president. During his speech, Biden also claimed former President Trump, at a closed ceremony at the Mar-a-Lago Club, promised his wealthy supporters tax breaks. The president drew that contrast in his tax plan and Donald Trump's tax plan. Donald Trump would have a three-part plan that would cut taxes for billionaires, it would repeal the Affordable Care Act and raise costs for millions and millions of Americans across the country. Biden believes that Trump's tax codes are unfair and will cater more to the wealthy. President Biden added that working class families won't survive another four years under Trump's presidency. Cut the federal deficit even more by making big corporations the very wealthy begin to finally pay their fair share. We're not asking anything as unusual. Under my plan, nobody earning less than $400,000 will pay an additional penny. With Pennsylvania being the largest battleground in the country, President Biden will spend time in Lackawanna, Allegheny, and Philadelphia counties during his campaign run. Reporting from Scranton and Lackawanna County, I'm Alicia Hercules with Fox 56 News, first at 10. And while Biden was in our area, Trump made a campaign stop at a New York bodega after a day in court. The store was the site of a violent attack in 2022. He criticized Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg for his handling of that case and took aim at the current hush money trial.